Afternoon, Viva MK. Thank you for joining me once again for a live business update. So what's been going on, where we're going, and what's it all about? I huh, don't if I know any of those answers. But anyway, 11 months old and our 10th month in business. Do you realize we only took our first Viva MK distributor order on the 9th of July 2018? That's not even 10 months since we took that very first order. And I remember the day well because we took one order and then the whole system collapsed. So our second order wasn't until the 10th of July. My point is 10 months in business and we had our single biggest sales day only on this Tuesday just gone. Tuesday 30th of April was categorically our single biggest sales day that we've ever had in our short 10 months. So for that, I just wanted to thank everybody for doing everything you do and being part of this business. That in my books is progress. Of course, we don't always make quick progress in anything. No business ever does. But for us to be able to be able to have such extraordinary days of sales like we just had 48 hours ago is phenomenal. So 10 months old, first order really early on the 9th of July 2018, so the growth is there. Um, many of you received a percentage a percentage growth email showing what your improvement from March to April was, and that's very important to share that information. If you got that email, or if you've made any money from this business, you should really be shouting that from the rooftops. It's so important that people know you can make money in this business. Listen, uh, the main reason people join, or the main reason you joined, was to make an income from this business. If you're making an income, no matter how small or big that income is, talk about it, tell people about it. After 10 months in operation, 10 months of taking orders, if you're making anything, then you should tell people. You know, there's too many businesses that talk about the opportunity and the greatness of what they do, but very few talk about what they're earning. Now, I think most people join these kind of businesses to earn money. So if you're not talking about the money, people aren't going to know that you can actually make money. So I really think you should start talking about that more. So for me, it's just fantastic to be able to tell you that after 10 months, we only had our biggest sales day to date only on Tuesday, but I do believe as each month goes by, as each day goes by, we're going to smash that record time and time and time again. It really does always feel like such a beginning in this business. So tell people about it, tell them you're making money, no matter what you're making. Now, I always talk about products, um, especially the ones that I'm safe enough to demonstrate to you because, of course, due to health and safety, I've been categorically banned from showing certain products, particularly ones that contain chemicals because I always end up doing something daft with them. But anyway, last week I showed you some more of the products from the Outdoors catalogue, which goes to print next week. And all being well will be available the week after, but I'll tell you more about that as and when I have the exact date of when you can get that in your hands. I said there was a two week delay, which takes it to about mid-May. So obviously not, not next week, the week after. Last week I showed you some more um, eco products like the Rainbow, uh, ke uh, Rainbow Teapot, which re received some amazing feedback. The page actually looks like that, just so you know. I think the importance, again, like I always say, is, is about layout, about color, and the product itself. I think that's a great page and a great advancement in, in, in the look and feel of our catalogs. You know, if you think that 10 months ago when we first sold product uh, from a range of 67 products on um, literally wasn't the catalog, it was more of a leaflet. So now the progression has been there. And, and that's the thing, there always has to be progression. In a moment, I'll talk about software progression. But first, let's ca carry on talking about products. That's far, far more interesting at the moment. So that's where the, the rainbow ceramic teapot will fit. Now, it's not just that, there's a whole vast range of products. And as I told you, we were concentrating on this shared earth idea, you know, eco-friendly. 
because I know not only is that good for the environment, but it's certainly in vogue on vogue for, for where products are concerned and general marketplace. And you know, and things like this, um, dream catcher. Um, now, the ancient Indians believe, no, I'm not an ancient Indian, the ancient Indians believed, although I probably am too. Um, dream catchers um, apparently had some mystical power that they capture your nightmares and your dreams and the good dreams that can make come true. I just think it looks nice and that's the end of that. So that's going to be another product in that kind of shared earth range. And there's going to be plenty of quirky products like that. And I've got some more to show you here. For example, there's this. Um, it's some kind of bunting, which I'm sure will be very useful. I'm sure your customers will absolutely love it. The thing about this is, is the story behind it. That's why it's so important. And the story behind it, and it's got a shared earth label on there. The story behind it, it says handmade by Karl Marg in India. Um, this has been a handmade product from recycled fabrics. So each piece is completely unique. Car Mug is a community home for more than 50 street, street children near Delhi. So I think the story behind some of the products is absolutely fantastic. Sometimes, yes, it's the beauty and the color and the vibrancy that sells a product and the way it's displayed on the page, but sometimes that story behind it is very, very valuable. And that could gradually become another niche of ours where we have these great products that you wouldn't normally find in your average shop but you can get from us and your customers will get used to buying them. And I think the idea of the shared earth like I've been talking about for a number of weeks now is absolutely vital, especially when they have a little story behind them like that. Um, so that's that. Then we have this. You know, again, this is why I'm actually standing up today because it, I can demonstrate the products. Um, we have this very, very colourful rug. Um, I don't know what the label says, probably handmade by Michael Katkar, but I'm not entirely sure. But it, it's, again, very colourful, easy to transport, and the kind of thing a customer might just look at and think, oh, I'll, I'll have one of those. That's interesting. Now, the point, the reason I'm giving you, showing you this, is because the products, uh, as we said, is an outdoor catalogue, you know, garden, outdoor, and a whole lot more. I guess this fits that whole lot more category, that it's not just about garden and outdoors, there's gonna be a whole range of things um, that are colorful and really representing the season. But more importantly, representing a progression for us as Viva MK, from the 67 products we sold in our first catalog, um, no more than 10 months ago, to a whole brand new range of these kind of products. But we don't just stop there. I have here, I don't quite know where this is going to go, but, as in where I'm going to go with this, but this is some kind of um, children's bag, I guess. Dinosaur 12 inch backpack. So, and I, I see that it's quite a nice, unique product. I think you can even actually take the dinosaur out. I don't know whether that, that makes the dinosaur naked, but nevertheless, it, it's quite, I can't get him back in now. But you know, you know what, you know what the point is, it's another quirky product. Um, and in there, I think I've got some more quirky products. But again, as I said, garden, outdoors, and a whole lot more. Things that the customers didn't know they wanted, but they probably will want when they see these. So what have we got in here? Planters, um, you know, a whole range of outdoor watering can planters. And I think I've got some more here in various colors. You know, quirky products, very, very colorful, of course, very, very seasonal and kind of things where customers will really have those impulse purchases because they've got that connection with you as the distributor. Now, they may see these in garden centers and things, but the point is the connection is with you and the customer. And that's why they'll buy products like this. And that goes into a whole garden range. There's some kind of gardening trough there. I should really learn about my products before I talk about them. Um, what else have we got in here? Oh, more from the, um, the, the fairy range. This is a fairy garden secret door. I, me I mentioned the fairy range last week that they're going to become collectible items and people will want to buy the whole set. So that there is a fairy garden secret door as part of that range. I'm not sure why it's in this 
backpack, but um, oh, there's another one. Okay, um, then I'm not entirely sure what to do with these. I think, and I should have learned about this. Anyway, that's the backpack. I'll put that down now. I think these are some kind of, um, I think they're garden shoes. So, you know, when it's, when it's wet outside and you, you're going out to do a bit of garden, I think you slip them over your shoes and you go out in the garden. I think that's what they are. Um, but then we've got this. This is a monkey bag. Again, shared earth. Just showing you the diversity and color of the product. Again, it's got a story attached to it. Um, the, 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 the making of these jute bags offers employment to women and self-help groups in Kolkata. So, you know, again, the story, your presence with the customer and the vibrancy of the product will sell these products. A huge departure for Viva MK, but I think a very, very exciting one. Um, then we go on to even kitchenware. You know, so as I said, it is garden, it is outdoors, but a whole lot more. Dogs in the kitchen apron. Um, I think anything with a dog seems to sell, sell in our business or in any business. So it's just to show you the diversity of products. Um, you know, that just gives a representation of what we have from dream catchers to dinosaur backpacks to garlands to garden shoes. I'm sure we could use them all together and have a fantastic time while sat on the colorful rug carrying a jute bag. But the point is diversity of product, vibrancy of product, great stories behind them and all coming your way in less than two weeks. So week commencing 13th should be the week that that catalog becomes available. It's going to print next week. There was a slight delay and I apologize for that, but sometimes the production of these and getting these things together does take time. The shelves of the warehouse, which is just that way, are getting packed as each day goes by as all these products are coming in and being stored. So it looks phenomenal out there. Nothing like seeing a full warehouse of products, knowing that not only will they create sales for us as an organization, but they make profit for you because that's what it means. Shelves full of products are great because you know one day soon they're going to turn to profit. And if you're making a profit, if you're making any money, like I said, tell the world that you are. So um, the first car incentive, of course, is the first full month of the car incentive that I launched last month. Um, some it's a great amount of people in running for that first incentive. Straight after this live, um, you'll get an email in which will be the, the initial people that are already after month one in running for our first ever car incentive. And like I said to you, you know, we're not in the world of giving away Ferraris and Bentleys that nobody can ever achieve like I used to in the past. What we're trying to do is give you an achievable incentive available for absolutely everybody. And I wanted to and will start small on that. I'm sure we will progress, but something that anybody can grasp. So when you see the list, which will come straight after this live, your name may or may not be on it, but my point is it can be on it. We'll attach the criteria again so you know what needs to be done. It is a small incentive to start with, but you know what? It's an encouraging one, and that's the point. Yes, we've had, you know, multi-thousand pound cars before and, you know, Ferraris and so on, but I, you know as well as I do, they were just not achievable. So let's give something achievable. And if your name's not on the list, it can be because the gate is wide open. The fairy gate especially is wide open for you to enter the competition and still be a part of it. And it's only a beginning. Um, so you'll get that straight after this. Now, every start of the, every month, I try and give you some of the objectives for the month coming forward. Look, they're not always achieved. But like I always said, like goals, if you don't have them, you won't even get halfway. So it's so important to not only have company objectives, personal objectives and general business objectives. Very so important to have those. And OK, I don't always achieve them, but it gets us somewhere and gives you an indication of what we're thinking as an organization. 
So we had the biggest sales day only 48 hours ago. One of my objectives for May and objectives for everybody, because it means everybody earns more money, is to have, is to beat that record. So my first objective for May is to beat what we've already done and have the next single biggest sales day in this month. I know it's achievable. You'll have a brand new catalog out there, so it will be achievable. So I'm gonna keep doing everything we can to be able to do that. Second one is like you already know, is to launch and an effective launch of the garden outdoors and so much more catalog and not only give you an effective launch of it make sure that it's in about two weeks which is now the target but have an incentive behind there so you know you can get your hands on that really quick and I'll launch that incentive next week um, I'll also give you news about the next catalog after that because once we've got this outdoors um, catalog uh, out of the way and is out there with your customers, we can firmly start talking and discussing the next range of products. Now, where products are concerned, I know you can't just keep piling thousands and thousands and thousands of products into the pile because, you know, there comes a time where investment in products is viable, but you have to stick to the ones that sell the most. So you can't just keep adding thousands every single month or every single week. So, you know, but what this allows us to do by having such wide ranges and experimenting so much is to give us the idea of where we need to go. You know, for example, if this kind of stuff, this shared earth kind of stuff really sells and it makes your money, then there'll be more of it. If it doesn't, there is not much point. So, and that's the way to do it, as simple as that. You know, if this naked dinosaur sells, then there's need to have more of it. And that's the whole point. So you will see an influx of products. Now I always said to you, you know, we start with 67, we'll go to 300, then 400, then to 1000. Well, as you know, we're already over 1000. Um, that number can't keep going up. You know, it's not like we'll have 10,000 products suddenly because you have to make the business profitable and it has to evolve and you have to have products that actually do sell. As we perfectly demonstrated and I always come back to this, the back to basics catalog. And it's another concept we are working on because as much as products like these are fantastic and they have great stories and everything else, we also know that the customers want the basics. So that's something we're also going to concentrate on. I'll tell you more about that during May. Finally, an objective for May. Yes, that old chestnut again. Further stability in the operating system, which still has got work needing, it still needs work and it's still getting there. Uh, I know you all, it's not like we can't do what we're doing. You know, you can still order, you can still recruit, so you can still do all that. It's not stopping anybody, albeit that the old system is quite cumbersome. So thank you for putting up with that for a bit, bit longer. The new system is still in progress, um, but it shouldn't be slowing the business down. As perfectly demonstrated on Tuesday 30th of April, when we had our single most biggest sales day. Um, and to put that into perspective, in some ways, it was bigger than three or four days put together. I know it was the last day of the period, but that's not the point. The point is we did all that in one day. So things are moving. It is all about progress. Sometimes the progress is only like that. Sometimes it's like that. But progress is important in everything we do, which is why I stress to you, talk about your business, sell the business, promote the business. If you're making money, tell other people that you're making money from simply selling products, because that's what we do. The more people you tell, the stronger our business and vision grows. And that's what we're about. Um, you know, 10 months of selling products, 11 months in operation, and progress is still being made. Sometimes it does seem like it's slow. Sometimes it seems like it's come to a standstill. But every day, every week, every single month, something happens in this business to progress us and make us better. And that I can thank you and everybody that works here because we are seeming, we, we are getting there together on that. So, you know, 
along this journey, we're always going to have challenges. I tell you this every week. There's always going to be challenges. There's always going to be successes. I think the key to it is, is to address both in the same way. You know, celebrate the successes, but never hide from the challenges. You know, beat those challenges in the same, same way that you celebrate the success. And if you do that with equal passion, the business will continue to grow. So, you know, it, it, it's already May. You know, we're going towards our 12th month in business next month, well, July when we started selling products. So we're making progress. So really that's all for today. Thank you for everything you've done. Have a fantastic bank holiday weekend. And like I've always said, we couldn't do it with, without the people here. We couldn't do it without the people there. But together, we really have and continue to become stronger together. And that will continue. So thank you for listening. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.